It appears the Marine Corps and DARPA are looking for a successor to the Osprey. Hunt for an MV-22 Osprey successor for the Marines has begun. Though the Marines have said the Osprey could serve into the 2060s, they're now looking ahead to a next-generation assault support aircraft. And this article goes through the history of the V-22 Osprey and also gives a hint at some of the uh, things upcoming. This is a concept from Aurora Flight Sciences of a vertical lift large demonstration aircraft. And this is a concept from Bell using rotors and jet engines. The rotor blades actually fold in and we'll get a little bit more into that. And this is the Army's new long range tilt rotor aircraft future long range assault aircraft competition the v280 already incorporated significant lessons bell had learned from the v22 and i have this muted for obvious reasons but incredibly capable aircraft and bell has definitely been doing some some seriously cool things as we're going to investigate right here. This is the uh, article about Bell. This is from December 5th, 2024. Revised fold-away rotor aircraft concepts emerge from Special Operations X-Plane program. And here it talks about how the new rendering accompanied about the completion of the wind tunnel testing in support of work under DARPA. We love DARPA on this channel. Our mad scientists are at it again. This time in cooperation with Bell and they have gone so far as to do sled testing and I'm going to bring this up because this is really well it shows that they are they are really looking at this as a serious thing so here we go this is the sled testing of the transition from well it says it right here from rotary flight to jet powered flight as you can see, the concept there is that the props fold back and you're under jet power. Well, you have to test that concept, of course, to see if it even can happen. This is that test. As you can see on the bottom, you see the turbo shaft startup, turbo prop launch, the acceleration of the turbo prop, then the turbo fan begins startup and this is very important if you're going to do a mid-air transition rotor feather now as you can see it's probably just basically neutral probably not sitting on a brake but neutral and prop stow rotor rotor stow this is the important part at speed and that is what makes designs like this possible like they're showing right here possible there's a lot of innovation going on here and in the next one we're gonna just show from Revolutionary solution for contested air transport. Fan in wing technology powers Aurora's concept for unprecedented speed and stealth and vertical lift. And this design work in part with our boys at DARPA. Now this looks like something out of the X-Men or the Avengers or something like that. Large fans to create your vertical lift. And as you can see here, this is the inside of one of the models, just kind of showing what this would entail, except on a much larger scale, on a giant scale. Like I said, that looks like something out of the Avengers or something out of, I don't know, you name your favorite science fiction fantasy superhero show and that's what that looks like. 
But these two are both vertical takeoff and landing. As requested by, uh, there's a SOCOM request in for one of these and the Marines now. And as we can see, DARPA, our mad scientists, our outside the box thinkers, they're thinking outside the box again. That's why we love them. They're looking at so many different aspects of the future in ways that other other agencies aren't even considering. And they lead the world in this because, as you can see, the Chinese like to follow up on virtually everything DARPA does. Almost everything. We'll get into the uh, Loyal Wingman project at some point here in the future, and it's it's astonishing. And all of this was in response to a Marine Corps request. Now we're going to play a little bit of a video here. This is Bell's. This is from the Bell website. I'm going to mute. And DARPA. Remember, a lot of this is coming through the Defense Department's DARPA agency. This shows the concept of strike, transport, using jet and propeller driven technologies. This is a really good video. Small platforms floating in the middle of the ocean. Amazing. And as you saw, we've, we saw that that transition is very possible. I'm going to go back just a second here. I want you to look at that map. That, sir, is Taiwan. This is the northern part of the Filipino archipelago. So I think we know who they're planning this for. Force multiplier using electronic warfare. Smart munitions, loitering munitions. Pilot rescue, cargo transport. Notice half of these have no pilot. These are these are drones. Half of these are drones, which shows that the unmanned is taking over from man in so many different places. How many different drone technologies have we gone through on this channel specifically? And this is all in response to what just came out recently. The Marine Corps released for the first time in uh, two or three years a Marine Aviation Plan, where when you go through, this goes through the entire plan of the United States Marine Corps Aviation. Where they sit today, you can find these charts of tactical air transition plans, rotary aircraft, tilt rotor. It goes through every component that you can think of drone long range missile strike advanced precision kill weapons and it does go through the importance of drones which is really refreshing of course everything is going to be uh, linked in the description but because the Marine Corps and the Army and now DARPA are all thinking in the same direction the V-22 Osprey, whose lifespan is into the 2060s, may not be in service until the 2060s. If you, if you can come up with something revolutionary, if you can come up with something nobody else can do yet, then there's no reason not to move forward to the next technology like what I'm like what I've been advocating for when it comes to hypersonic. Perhaps the sixth generation fighter is just a demonstrator until we move on to atmospheric craft that can take off from a runway, go to space at hypersonic speeds, using directed energy weapons, and return to base. 
that's more of the future than Generation 6 Ultra Stealth. Speed is the new stealth. And here, carry capacity and speed, they're seeing that as more survivable than uh, straight up stealth here too. So, vertical takeoff and landing. The Osprey. She may not be around as long as they thought. But with DARPA and Bell, I think we'll have it covered. Some revolutionary stuff is coming down the pike in uh, vertical takeoff and landing, and we're going to be watching it right here. We'll keep you posted. I appreciate you coming by. If you liked it, hit the like, maybe subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll catch you next time.